quickly to the word. I tell you, I just feel God such a beautiful worship. Even on yesterday when we when I when we met with the McCallums at the hotel, just the just the just the warmth that I felt. Hallelujah. Amen. And I told myself I'm full. I said, I'm just, I was getting choked up on yesterday and I'm I'm trying not to get choked up on today. And I, I'm, I'm just so, so many emotions are rolling through because what a difference a year makes. What a difference, a, what a difference a year makes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Here we are. We're all in masks and we're social distancing and we're having to follow these various guidelines and things that are going on. But nevertheless, God is still God. Hallelujah. So we're going to go very quickly to the word of God. Amen. The message that the Lord had given me a, a few months back and in and, and, and the spirit of in, in, in all that we're going in in this pandemic, I call it my pandemic message. I call it the pandemic message, and, and I, I had to go back and, 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 and make, some, make some changes to it because guess what? We're still in the pandemic. Hallelujah. So here we are, Psalms 121, amen, beginning at verse 1. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from which cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Before you take your seat, to, uh, ask this question today. Where do we go from here? Amen. You may take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I, I just, and I'm asking the Lord to help me. Amen. Because the, um, this, this is an emotional time for me, and I want, to, I want to give what the Lord has given. I want to give it to you as the Lord has given it to me. A lot has happened in our lives within the past now eight months or so. So much so that we have been left with many unanswered questions that seek to ravage our minds day after day. In one swift moment, our lives were turned upside down, yes. and we immediately felt the impact of the change that took place. Yes, our lives as we knew it would no longer be ours to govern, rather would be mandated as to how we function from day to day. The liberties of living in the land of the free and the home of the brave have suffered an attack that until this present moment is yet still prevailing. So I begin in this manner. The current unemployment rate, which began to see daylight, is now staggering at a high percentage. Yes, sir. Well, over 20-some million are currently employed. There appears to be no silver lining. The current rate of the coronavirus positives are now 8 million and in increasing. The death toll from the coronavirus in the U.S., and these numbers again are yet ever changing, 225,000 and rising. I, I believe we're more closer to 230 as we are than we are 225. And in the midst of all of that, we are now engaged in our quadrennial election, where we elect a president for these, the United States. In the midst of all of that, children are no longer attending school in person, whether some are attending and then they have to come out because there's been an outbreak, and then they're now placed back in the home. And some have yet to go back to school uh -huh. since March. Yeah. Churches, churches, churches are encouraged to minimize gathering. They couldn't wait to tell us that one. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Rather not meet at all, they want you to stay home and shelter in and, and, and yeah. try not to gather. Yeah. Try not to come together because they know that we come together. Yeah. They know if we, if, 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 if we just could come together, even if we have to distance ourselves, but if we could just come together with like mind and on one accord. And if I say thank you, you say I love the Lord, and you, and you shout hallelujah, and I, and I say praise him, something's bound to happen. Hallelujah. I don't, I, don't need to be, I don't need to be within one feet of you to say I, I thank you, Jesus. I can say thank you, Jesus, we'd be 10 feet apart, and I believe it'll still have the same effect. Somebody just try it out say thank you, Jesus. Ah, my, 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 my. So, yeah, so, yeah, they told us in the church, look, don't, don't, don't go into your services, shelter in, and, and, and have somebody come in and represent the church and, and let them look at it from home. And, 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 and the enemy was just sitting there just, just doing his hands like this. I got them now. I got them now because someone wants to stay home anyway, but that's another subject. 
So some look forward to it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to do. It's, it's mighty strange. We can't get them to do certain things, but they will obey something such as this. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in. I ain't going out there. And I look at it from home, and then you wake up, service over. Then they tell us that you must maintain at least six feet. Mm. You must wear a mask. And if you have an elevated temp, by all means, please stay home. You, we will pray for you via the social media. So with all that I just stated, I asked the question on today. Where do, where do we go from here? But in order to answer this all-important question, we must first answer what I call some pre-assessments. The first question that must be discussed is, what is the here that I'm referring to? The here is everything that I, that I aforementioned, the virus, the death rate, unemployment, the restrictions. Th that's the here that I'm referring to. We then must deal with the hard truth of how did we arrive here? Many would argue that it happened because of this or it happened because of that. I will simply say it happened because God allowed it to happen. So we can just put that to rest. We can just stop wasting time trying to figure out how did it get here. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. That is the hard fact of the matter. The Bible tells us that the earth is the Lord's, the, 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 the world, and, and they that dwell therein. So don't think for a moment. That something just eased its way in, yeah. into the earth and the creator did not know about it. Nothing happens without God allowing it. Yeah, right. yeah. Nothing takes place without God's permissive will to take place. Mm -hmm. We must remind ourselves that we serve the all-seeing, yeah, yeah. the all-knowing all God. Knowing, yeah. So we don't dwell on how, it on how it got here. Rather, let's move on to the who. I have good news for you on today to serve as a reminder when we begin to feel destitute. And in despair, and, 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 and being that this is, past, this is pastoral appreciation month, I, I think it's just right fitting that we, that we really just look at this. You see, the pandemic has a way of not only invading our bodies, but it also invade our belief system. Uh -huh. we, begin to be, we begin to doubt God and no longer believe that he is with us. And then here comes the pastor that has to remind you, has to keep you motivated to hang in there, to stay forward, keep praying, keep fasting. Look, we, we, we yet still on the battlefield. And you're like, yeah, but the virus. So the next question I want to ask you is, who is here with us? I will gladly and profoundly answer, Pastor McCowan, to you that God is here with us. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody ought to got excited just on that statement. For he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So don't you let the slew-footed enemy tell you that God is not with us. Don't you let, don't you let that line wander. Don't you let him, don't you let him, missionary. Don't you let him, missionary, uh, 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 Sandra. Don't you let him, don't you let him, don't you let him tell you that you're by yourself in this. Praise sinner, don't you let him tell you that you're out here alone. Because it's when you feel that you're alone, it's God working at his best. God is at his best when we feel we're at our least. So that it is that our lesson text tells us that to look to the hills. Uh -huh. Pastor McCowan, look to the hills yes, from which come at your help. Yes. When things are looking bleak, look up. When you don't know what to do, look up. Yes, Psalms 121 declares that he is the same God that kept Israel, and he is the same God many, many, many centuries later. He's yet keeping us. Yes. So I, I, I know what they're saying on the television. I know what they're saying on the news. I know what the scientists are saying. I know what all is being said. But what is God saying? God's saying, look to him. He's telling us to look to him, Pastor. When you, when you feel like, are we going to make it? Is the ministry going to make it? Look to him. Oh, bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. So it is that we find out that God is the same God that kept Israel. He's the same God that's keeping us. Oh, yes. Things have been difficult. We, we, we're not in a vacuum. We're not looking at this in a vacuum. We know it's been tight. It's been stressful. It's been some, at times, you're like, come on. You know, we, we, we have that, come on. Yeah, it, it, we, we, we feel the full weight of our, we feel, we feel the full weight of this on us. But God is saying, look up. Yeah, look up. Oh, my God. Things have been difficult, and we have suffered great loss especially here in our local jurisdiction. 
It is not lost on us that from June 24th to July 21st, we bid farewell to our pastor and our first lady, our jurisdictional prelate, that that stain still resonates in us, yes, sir. Yes. even at this present moment. But even to that, God is yet with us. Yes, oh, bless his name. Times are hard for many. But all we have to do is look up to God. From which cometh our help. Because not only does our help come from God, but our peace comes from God. Our joy comes from God. Everything we need. Ah, my God. Somebody ought to clap their hand and say, everything I need. You that's looking at us on live stream, just say, everything I need comes from God. Hallelujah. And I'm, I'm listen, listen. I didn't come to speak long. because This is what the Lord gave me, uh, Lady McCowan. The final part of this analysis is this. How do we get to the place beyond here? Now it's going to take some work on our part. It's going to take some fasting and some praying. It's going to take some, as Bishop say, some long suffering. It's going to take some trusting in God. <laughs> hey, my, 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 my. It's going to take some persevering. It's going to take some laying down, putting your face to the floor and say, God, help me. That's what it's going to take. That's just a portion of what it's going to take. It's going to take some resisting the devil. When he come before you, say, you might as well go on back out in the world because you know what this world has done. You might as well go on and enjoy yourself. Might as well go on and live it up. They got this thing that say, YOLO, you only live once. I beg the differ after death coming to judgment. So you better, not, you better not go by that. Don't go by that one. Don't go by that. Don't get caught up in that because after the death coming judgment. So you might want to get it right while you're in this life. Oh, bless his name. So, 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 Pastor McCowan, we got, we got to bind that spirit of depression yes, that will come on the members. And, and so that's what keeps you up at night and early morning because you're praying for the members. Are they all right? Do they have what they need? God, how, how can I be more to them than I am right now? Even in the midst of all of this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm, can I get in your business just for a moment? So I understand that when you're laying and you're like, God, I, 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 what can we do as a ministry to help our people? So you, so you have the weight and the burden. You and Lady McCow and the weight and the burden is on you because you don't want to lose anyone physically and you definitely don't want to lose anyone spiritually because then when that mind, when they get that mind and say, you know what, the church don't care about me. All they want, all they want is what I can give them. But no, 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 no. He's yet praying. He's yet interceding. This is the church's finest hour. This is the finest hour for any pastor that's, that's serving. This is, the, this is putting the rubber to the road right here. Find out what you made of right here. We talked about when times get hard. We talked about how things can become. But what are you doing when times get hard and when things come? Are you, are you, are you, are you packing up and you're leaving? Come on, sir. Come on, come on, come on. And then you got to have a made up mind. You got to be determined that the ministry will survive. That the ministry will continue to grow even when it looked like there is a, a what, 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 what was it that they had in Egypt? What, when, when, what did they have in Egypt? They had a famine. When it feel like we're in a famine, you got to, you got to be, believe that God is yet still providing. And then you got to promote this and you got to, you, you got to, you got to, get, you got to get this to the people and get it in, get it in their mind that God is yet still providing. Hallelujah. So where do we go from here? We go into our secret place and we cry out, Lord, help us. Mm. The old saints kept it simple. They just cried out, help, Lord. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to say, help, Lord. We ain't got time to go through the 40 and two generations sometimes. Sometimes we just got to say, help. I ain't got time to go through the Greek and the Hebrew. I ain't got time to, to, to run this thing all the way down like that. This is an urgent prayer. I need God like yesterday. Help! God, I need your help. Hey. Ooh, my, my, my. So where do we go from here? We go forth into the praise for everything that God has already done. All those things are tight, but you got food to eat. May not be what you wanted to eat, but you got food to eat. A roof over your head. And I'm talking to praise. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking to praise. And, and if you out there, you agree with this too, just say amen. All those things are tight, but you got a roof over your head. God is yet making a way. <laughs> out of no way. <laughs> Where do we go from here? We go higher <laughs> in the Lord. What do you mean higher? What? Yes, higher in our walk, higher in our worship, 
higher in our praise to the true and living God. Where do we go from here? We go home and we pray that our family and our neighbors, that they find work, that God will take care of them and we're going to help God while we're here. Where do we go from here? We go forth and we live a life that's pleasing to the God of our salvation. And let me take a footnote here. The pandemic is not permission to sin. Oh, we're still required to be a holy people. I don't care what virus comes. We're still required to live sanctified. I don't care what happened. We're still required to be an example to those that don't know God. We're still required to live right before him. We're still required. Hey, hey. Don't let the pandemic <laughs> cause you to miss out on God, <laughs> but rather <laughs> let it make you <laughs> pray more. <laughs> let it make you <laughs> seek him more. <laughs> Early will I seek him. <laughs> we got to have that mentality <laughs> that I let nothing separate me. <laughs> not the pandemic, <laughs> not nothing, <laughs> not poverty, <laughs> not nothing. <laughs> Not disease, nothing separate me because God is my all in all. Come on, somebody say, yeah, hallelujah. So we got to go for and do like the songwriter said. Ask the Savior to help you. Come for strengthen and keep you. Yes, we've suffered loss. And sometimes all we can do is cry. But I hear it in my mind that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask or think. According to the power. Hey. So here we are as I caroon to a close. Even in this time of unrest and uncertainty, he, God, is our refuge and strength. Pastor McCowan, he's your refuge and he's your strength. He's your very present help. In trouble, we are in trouble, but the Lord is in the trouble with us. Yes, we're in trouble, but God is with us. Hallelujah. And I want to close with this. Our late pastor, Bishop Thomas, would often end his sermon with a line from a few hymns. He said, be not dismayed, whatever be tired. God will take care of you beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. So if when you try and fail in your trying, hand sword and scarred from the work you begun, take up your cross, run swiftly to meet him because he'll understand and he'll say well done. So Pastor McCowan, don't you give up, don't you give in, hang on in there, God is with you family i want you to be encouraged i know we're feeling the weight of all that's going on but know that god has never left us hallelujah and this last page i hand wrote this page on last night i hand wrote this hallelujah and it says like this Pastor McCowan, I just want to encourage you to stay in the fight. Remain constant. Don't give up. You are still needed. Even more so now, the people need to know that you have not laid down your weapon. Rather, you have sharpened them for the next phase of the battle. God is with you. He was with you before the pandemic. Keep praying. Keep believing. Lead the people through the valley. You will be victorious. These are the times that try us to see if we have what it truly takes to get through. You have the anointing. You have the assignment. You will succeed. The old church would cry out, take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Why? Because you're going to need him. 
everywhere you go. So if I can just encourage you a little bit more, amp up your praise. If I can encourage you just a little bit more, get you an even longer dance. If I can encourage you just a little bit more, fight a little bit harder. Do what you got to do because God has anointed you for such a time as this. So get your praise on. Get ready to receive what God is going to do. This is not the end, but this is rather just a brand new beginning. Trust in the Lord. Lady McCowan, get over there with your husband. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Keep on acknowledging him. Keep on putting God first. Keep on doing what it takes. Because I know that God is able. I know God can work it out. I know God will do it for you. Don't you throw in the tower. Rather get a bigger tower. Don't throw the shovel down. Get a better shovel. And keep on digging out of work. Keep on digging out of work. Keep on doing what God had for you to do. Somebody tell him thank you. Somebody tell him thank you. God is. He's right here with you. He never left you. So where do we go from here? We put our hands up and we give God glory. We give him the praise. We give him the honor. For God, he's doing it. God, he's the one. Somebody say, yeah. Come on and tell the Lord, yeah. Come on and tell the Lord, yeah. We bind the devil that will come to sow discord. We bind the devil that will come to seek to divide the saints. Bind yourself together with cord that cannot be broken. Bind yourself together and do the work that God has established. Do the work. Keep on working. Work harder because great is the reward. I look around and I see the young men over here. I see your sons. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Lift up your hands, children. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless them right now, God. As they undergird the ministry that the Father has birthed. Oh, God, help them to do all that they can, God. Continue to bring forth the ministry. Continue to bring forth the vision, oh, God. And bless them in their work, oh, God. Bless them in their endeavors. Bless them in the things that they gave up. Oh, God, bless them right now. In the name of Jesus. Bless them right now. Thank you, God. Thank you. It's a sacrifice in what you're doing. And many times you probably, Lord, yeah, 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 yeah. But don't. Don't let the enemy. Don't let him get nowhere near in here. Have to do like Bishop may say, cast the devil. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Because he would have you to see it with the natural eye. And these eyes get us in trouble. Because when we look through the flesh, we see, we see our inability. But when we look through God, we see ability. See, 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 God moves that prefix. When we look at it through God's eyes, he, he moves the prefix I in. And, it's just, and, he, and, and rather than being incapable, we find ourselves capable to do what God. But we have to continue to stay under God's anointing. We have to continue to stay under the covering and I say to pray, center, continue to undergird your leader. Don't worship your leader, but worship the God in your leader. Uh-huh. It, it, so, sometimes loyalty and devotion can get somewhat distorted and become somewhat unholy. Worship the God in your leader, not the leader. Our late Pastor Bishop Tom would always tell her, don't, 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 don't be giving me a whole lot of accolades. He said, no, everything that I've accomplished is because of God. 
Everything that I am is because of God. It kept him humble, and the more humble he became, the more blessed he became. And so I want to say to you, Pastor McCowan, and First Lady McCowan to Praise Center, continue to, to do those things that God has set forth for you to do. And I pray God's blessings upon you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. God, we thank you for Pastor McCowan. Oh God, the work that has been placed into his hands. The work in the ministry that has been birthed through him, oh God. God, we ask now, Lord, that you would continue to keep him, keep him strong, oh God. Keep his body strong. Yes, God. From his mind to everything about him, oh God, keep him intact in the name of Jesus. That God, even in this season of detriment, oh God, uncertainty, oh God, where we're warring it on every side, God, keep him steadfast in your will, God, as he do this work in the name of Jesus and bless the ministry of God of Praise Center. Oh, God, let it overflow in all aspects, oh, God, that you will see fit in the name of Jesus. And, God, we thank you and we bless you, oh, God, his wife that stands by his side, who's yet always at all times interceding for her husband continue to strengthen her now God continue to strengthen her now when she don't know what sometimes what to say oh God or what to do God give it to her Lord when she go into her secret closet God give her her strategies <laughs> oh yes 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 oh yes 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 give her her strategies oh God as she Seek to help her husband in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for the members of Praise Center. Oh, God, continue to look upon them, God. Bless and heal their bodies, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Save their families, oh, God. Oh, God, and we thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on and clap those hands and tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.